Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me, and in this video I'll be implementing Langton's Ants using libgdx. Relatively simple, the world is made up of a grid, each grid can either be on or off, if the ant arrives on a grid that is on, it turns right 90 degrees, and if it arrives on a square that is off, it turns left 90 degrees. Whenever an ant leaves a square, it flips its state. So if the ant was on an alive block or a on block, the block turns off, and if the ant was on a off block, the block turns on. For some more information about Langton's ants, I can highly recommend these four videos. Three of them are by Numberphile, and they walk you through Langton ants and a bit about it. The other one is by a YouTuber by the name of Hobson, where he implements Langton's ants using SFML and C++. In particular, I highly recommend the main video by Numberphile on Langton's ants, just called Langton's ants. I'll place a link to it in the description, it will be the first one in the list. Okay, now let's get started. For this project, I'm using Java and libgdx. Firstly, I needed to get some sort of world grid to render, just like I did in Conway's Game of Life. This was relatively simple to do using the libgdx shape renderer class. Next, I created a two-point integer vector class to represent the position of the ant and the direction that the ant is moving in. Whenever I need to decide which direction the ant should rotate in, I use the following calculation. This isn't entirely what I expected to happen, but hey, it's better than nothing. Whenever an ant is created, it is given a random position and a random color from a color array. While I give the ant an index that refers back to the array, and when I render it, I simply look at what color is at the index of the ant's color. If you have one ant, round about step 10,000, it starts to perform a 104 step loop that moves the ant in a single direction, as seen here. Once the ant reaches the state, this just goes on indefinitely, and I think this is really cool. To account for stuff like this happening, whenever an, in my simulation, whenever an ant reaches the end of the grid space, it's removed and added back into the ward at a random position with a new color. Okay, that'll be all for now. Thank you all so much for watching. As per usual, there will be a link in the description to the Git repo where all the source code and Java doc are hosted. Please do let me know what you think in the comments below, and if you enjoyed this video, leave a like or subscribe, or how about checking out that time I tried to write Dark Souls? The next minute or two was just going to be the simulation in action. So until next time, goodbye.